With Team Center, now we can balance assembly lines at the early stages of manufacturing planning activities. We can optimize the distribution of workloads to the assembly stations easily and efficiently. We can ensure that the lines are balanced, resources are efficiently utilized, and we cost effectively meet our tech time goals. First of all, with Team Center, we can easily establish the constraints of the operations in an interactive user interface. In the Line Balancing Constraints Viewer, you can see how easily I can establish precedence of constraints of operations. I can define both parallel and sequential constraints. The interface dynamically changes the layout of the constraints for ease of visualization and analysis. In this example, let's open the Line Balancing Chart of the stations. We can easily configure the window layout in Team Center to perform line balancing analysis in a single window. Here, I've opened the station structure in one window and the operation list for that station in another window. Now, I copy a set of operations required to install the bearing assembly of the Doom Buggy. I can allocate these operations to station 1 where the installation of the bearing assembly will be performed. Similarly, I continue to assign list of operations to their respective stations and establish the production flow. For example, here, I'm assigning the braking system assembly operations to station 2, and so on. Now we have a structure where all the operations are assigned to their stations. We can see the line balancing chart for the entire Doom Buggy production line. We can see how the UI is intuitively indicating the operation data when I make a selection on the chart. The chart shows key information, such as the allocated time of an operation, when I mouse over individual bars on my chart. In this chart, we can see that Station 8 is above the tack time goal of 700 seconds and is highlighted in red. This requires that we have to rebalance the line. We can maximize the line balancing chart window so that we can perform the tasks easily and easily manipulate the chart elements. We can drag and drop operations from one station to another to rebalance the line. Now that we have moved around certain operations between stations, we want to validate if we violated any precedence constraints. The Constraints Violations Check command opens a couple of windows that shows me the stations where I'm violating assembly sequence. The violations are color-coded in pink and we can see that I'm violating some precedence constraints of operations. We can take the corrective actions to remove the constraint violations. The line balancing functionality also provides a set of reports. In this report, I can check for cycle time of each station and station loads, as well as perform deeper time analysis to get further insights to our manufacturing line.